everybody, it's Cannibal Cat, and I'm here with another video! I should really, like, tone down my intros. I'm getting a little crazy. This is Jam Jury Episode 3, and today I'm going to talk to you about females in metal, and women in metal, and the way that's working. Because it's relevant. Um, so... Recently, the online newspaper article thingy, satire, serving it up site called Metal Sucks did a an article, and it was satire, and it was so poignant. Oh, I'll put the link in the description. It gave me quite the laugh. Because female-fronted metal and women in metal, it's a scarce thing. It's not very common because women who are actually into metal aren't very common and this whole argument wraps around to basically saying that we're not gonna get a lot of quality like women in metal because it's generally not something that we're interested in and it's the same same point uh, feminists like to point out where well uh, there's not a lot of women in construction or engineering or any of that and it's it's not from any outside force other than the fact that women aren't usually interested in that stuff and so that's just kind of the state of the way things are see the problem being is that <sighs> with female fronted metal there is a large divide between the bands who are Scathing by by the skin of their nipples because their front women are basically edgy spiky strippers or the bands that Actually have women with talent who do not get nearly enough recognition. Um, it's a problem That's a, it's a thing that shouldn't be happening because When you look at two bands like Nightwish and Butcher Babies Um I fuck where do I even start? Uh, Butcher Babies is one of the largest fucking offenders of the whole problem here, which is that they don't have talent. That band has no talent. You know for a fact that the only reason they are where they are right now is because whatever dudes who do judging or fans of metal are like, oh yeah, man, I mean... The music's whatever, but there's hot chicks on stage. Yeah. Like, no. The fuck, dude? Like, you. <laughs> That's the thing is that the metal scene cannot simultaneously, and this is kind of like what the, what the article I'll link in the description was talking about, you cannot simultaneously be like objectifying and fucking just looking at women as like accessories to your act. And then simultaneously be like, oh man, there's no real chicks in metal. Yeah, because like there's no real place for us. Like, either you're a slut or you're like a dude. You're too you're too much one of the guys. Like, you need to it's not a, a super nice uh place for chicks to be. Um But yeah, see the thing is is that Butcher Babies fucking has no talent. And they're pretty fucking big in the scene right now. Nightwish? Oh my god. Me personally. I'm not a big fan of female vocals. I prefer male vocalists and their styles much more than females, so I'm not a really big fan of female bands at all. But I can look at Nightwish, and I know I'm familiar with their work. They're a fucking amazing band, and they do not nearly get enough talent and, I mean, fucking recognition. Um, same with bands like Arch Enemy, Lacuna Coil, Otep. All of these bands with front women who are badass as fuck, but because they're not showing the boobs everywhere, they're not nearly in the forefront of whatever. <laughs> and it's it's like I don't think this is ever gonna change. What's what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get a whole bunch of uh of slutty chicks who can think they could be like a whole bunch of slutty chicks who think that the scene is cool and have, like, a giant fetish for metalhead dudes thinking that they can just go out and be slutty and then somehow they'll be, like, in the scene. Um, more bands that do this that I do not care for. 
um, in this moment, as much as I'm, I'm, I don't have one opinion one way or the other on the band, on the band itself, but I do know for a fact that the talent in that band is not nearly proportionate to where they are when there's fucking bands like Lacuna Coil who are fucking amazing and you never hear anything about them. <laughs> and it's like, why does this happen? Um, and the thing is, is that the whole, uh, talent versus, uh, production and showmanship, when you get way more, like, uh, publicity and coverage when there's not that much talent, that's, um, that's a trademark of pop. And, uh, that's what pop musicians do, and that's what we separate ourselves from. So, what we're doing is simultaneously by being like, let's have more women in metal, we're not actually having more women in metal, we're having more shit acts that aren't helping the scene at all. And all I can do is sit around and hope that um, we try and open our arms a little bit to literally all the females and be like, yo, it's okay if you want to get your ass beat in the pit. It's okay if you don't want to look like a slut. It's okay to just be there for the music and actually enjoy the music. But the problem is, not a lot of females actually like metal. That's why there's Warped War. <laughs> and on that note, I think I'll probably um, end this video because I don't really have much else to say. I hope that you found my opinions to your liking. I doubt it because Lord knows no one ever does. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today. Another band that I forgot to mention because they're not really metal is The Birthday Massacre. Um, fucking, it's like synth, synth pop, synth rock, uh, it's really nice. It's good for calming your nerves and chillin'. I kind of look like the lead singer of that band. It is a female. Her name is Chibi. She's lovely. Um, so take from what that what you may. I I love you. Um, subscribe for more bullshit. I'll uh, I'll be doing more bullshit to come. Look at my poster. Look at The Exorcist. It's a good poster, right? It's good. All right. Have a nice day.